This tool was initially built as a paper-based tool, but because of the bulk of paper, we've added a lightweight navigation capability to it. The primary driver for the navigation is the navigation tab. On the navigation tab, we have the same strategy map that we've been traveling with since the beginning of this project. If you click on any of the strategic objectives, it will move you to that strategic objectives data page. So for example, if I were to click on, say, enhance the customer experience, we're at the Enhanced Customer Experience uh, page where all the measures are consolidated. We can move back to the navigation by using the hyperlink in the top left of every page. We've also found it useful to have an L1 dashboard page, which is the summary of the overall dashboard with the 11 measures that appear on the strategy map. The L2 dashboard is intended to be the primary tool used by the SMT, which has on it the uh, commentaries, the graphs of whatever style SMTs agree to see that particular data in. Again, this is laid out as a printable document. So at the bottom of every print page, you'll see this uh, legend that reminds us of how to interpret the various icons and bars and lines on the charts. L2 Detail Dashboard has on it the same graphs but more detailed. So for example, instead of just having uh, the overall interest fee and reversals chart that we saw in the L1 dashboard, we also have the resulting index chart and the two line charts that make up the formula in this example of interest reversals plus free fee reversals to give us this overall interest and fee reversals chart. It too is laid out for printing, so at the bottom of every print page you'll find that there's a legend Inside of the L2 dashboard, if you want to go to the grouping level, there's hyperlinks at the grouping level, or we can go to the individual measure level. So in this case, if I wanted to go to the tab that has the detail behind interest and fee reversals, we're now at that tab. That tab happens to be called F2CO.1, and you'll see the same thing on the tab down here. And here we can see all the header data, the actual performance data, and the line graphs and the index graphs that we've been seeing on the other charts. So beyond using the navigation tools at the top, you can go to the specific area you want to go to by clicking on that tab that will show you that particular information. So that's quickly how it is you navigate the tool. For your interest, uh, down the far right hand side, you'll see a number of tabs which are on the administrative side of things. So things like how the, where the imported data gets residing, where the data dictionary is, uh, and the documentation. And we'll talk about each of those tabs in more detail later on.